What a loss of stretching. I don't know if something's happening. I don't know if I'm on or something here, but watch this. the first time I've run in, year, in years my knees feel it but I'm just waiting now I'm, I'm waiting for my knees to just buckle and I'll be stuck here but what the fuck is going on I've been stretching like mad like 20 minutes at least a day Hey, maybe we'll do a maybe we'll do an 11 second 100 meters again one day. Do I keep going? I don't want my knees to buckle or me to make myself worse, you know. Yeah, like I started the past a week ago. Struggled to get round this place. Struggled to get round here walking. I'd struggled to walk for five minutes. For the longest, for like, for about six months, I've not been able to walk longer than five minutes. And I've just ran. I've just ran around there. What the fuck? But I've had ups and, you know, I get ups and downs. Like, Like I said, I haven't run in like two years. Maybe longer. Struggled to walk for three years. Um, but there was, you know, there, there was times where I, I'd do 30 minutes walking. For the longest time, like a year, 30 minutes was max. And my knees were then chot. They'd buckle and I'd just be on the floor for like five, 10 minutes. And then I wouldn't be able to pretty much do any more walking all day, right? And it got lower and lower until the past couple of weeks, like I said. I'm doing loads of stretching, I mean, like pushing it, like, fucking, oh, really pushing it. <laughs> um, hamstrings, calves, the, the splits. And that is the first time I've run in such a fucking long time. That feels good, but. I, you'd think I'd be ecstatic, but it's, I've had ups and downs, you know what I mean? I, I know next week I could be barely walk again, so... Cause, uh, and it's because of me, it's because of me low back, I know it is, I can feel the disc. I can fucking feel it, fucking out of place, trust me. But in the NHS you just get big, overweight, lead specialists who tell you they don't believe in exercise, and I quote, I don't believe in exercise. Yeah, I can tell you don't. I can tell you don't. And you wonder why 3% of the population have got untreated, undiagnosable pain. Because you, 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 you don't give them a single stretch, a single exercise. You send them to a Pilates class a few times a week, or you tell them to go swimming for 10 minutes three times a week. Well, I can't going to do anything when they're in such a state they can barely walk, etc., etc., you know. And tell them that this, it, there could be, uh, you could have something that we can't explain or just, just three million people, I think it is. Three million people and I guarantee such a large portion of those people would be, you know, you send them a DDP, DDP yoga and send them on that, I bet you you could get most of them back up and running and, and just as they was before <laughs> but the NHS literally get angry at you if you do if you fucking try if you say I've been doing this like, no you can't be in pain if you're doing that <clears throat> frowning at you and then you react back and, and, and which I don't do anymore because they just you know they they abuse their power 
and I'll just report you or whatever. You know, it's alright for them, they're allowed to punch the desk and frown and get angry with you and be proper cold and just stare into your soul like there's, there's, there's just this cold stare and not, not respond to you, to your questions or what you say to them, just don't respond, skip it or you know, just ignore everything, a bit like Rishi Sunak. Um, but yeah, I don't know what else I was going to say, but I will tell you this. If I end up healthy again, fully, no pain, I can get a good night's sleep and I have energy again, I can, I can, I can walk for as long as I want to and I'm not in agony anymore, I'm not suffering. I'm going to take all my medical rec. I'm going to get all my medical records, I'm going to get everything that I've jotted down, I'm going to get all your names, David Lard, for you, you for a start, who, who punched your desk, because I asked you, because I just said I don't agree with fibromyalgia, so you punch your desk, you think that's reasonable. And you want to call me passive aggressive when you're f literally physically aggressive. I'm going to get all your names and I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to get together a solicitor and I'm coming for you. I can't do it in the state that I'm in because I don't have the energy. I'm in too much pain. I can barely hold my head up at times. It just flops to the side and, and just rattles around like this, which I've showed them and they've done nothing about. Nothing. Try to say it was in my head. Or make out like I'm an alcoholic or I'm a drug addict, you fucking wankers. Right, well, I'm, I'm, if I get better, I'm coming for you.